today's party, I'm going to serve my guests those appetizer and all those things you can find on the Jack and King website below. And make sure you check it out. And those are stuff that's so easy to make. Your guests will love it for the appetizer. First, we're going to start with vegetable spring roll. Look at this. Sometimes my guest doesn't eat pork, shrimp, or beef. So we can have a veg vegetable spring roll. It's perfect. Su Tai Chun Jin. The next one I'm going to serve my guest is a pumpkin cake. Look at this. Isn't that adorable? I can't wait to deep fry and show you how it looks like. And third appetizer I'm going to serve my guest. It is a lychee shrimp, shrimp bowl. Look at those shrimp bowl. It's so cute. Look like this after you deep fry it. Isn't that look like lychee? Oh my god. My guest is going to be so impressed. And the last but the least, for the dessert, I'm going to serve in the traditional Asian snacks. It's called the sesame bowl. The sesame rice bowl, it looks like just like a sesame bowl, kind of like a bringette, but uh, with the sesame cover on that. Not overly sweet, uh, very popular in all the Asian restaurants. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so bad at cooking. But no problem, I have a friend, Sharon. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sharon. I am from the Real Cho State, or people know me as the Share Bear, or you can follow me online at Showing Vegas Homes. I'm here today to actually cook some goodies with Cindy because she's not an expert, but I am. <laughs> I know, I'm so lucky to have a Sharon. I'm hosting this party today which I got a lot of advertiser. I found this website, it's called Jack and King, uh, which they have uh, tons of goodie on their website. And the bad thing is, they can get everything delivered to your house if you just spend $69 or over, such as the spring roll here. And Sharon, what else do we have? So it looks like we have the shrimp ball in the lychee shape. That's amazing. That's actually, that, this is actually pretty good. Then we have a pumpkin cake. This is less, this is more of a dessert than savory. Then we would have the sesame rice ball. This is actually one of my favorites. And you can actually find these in a lot of restaurants. And don't mind the presentation on this one. I couldn't wait to cook. So it's all ripped, but I can't wait to cook this. It looks really good. All right. All right, Sharon. I'm looking at this box of frozen spring rolls. Yes. How do I do with it? So you'd be surprised. It's not that hard. So here. Thank you for having it open, Cindy. Ah. <laughs> I have a great suit up here. So these spring rolls will need to be in a deep fryer, anywhere between 300 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And looks like you've already got the oil done. Of course, Yay. overachiever. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll put maybe three or four in. All right. And then start deep frying them. Oh my God, this is- So as we're deep frying this. Oh my God, look at it. <laughs> Don't be afraid, guys. Oh my gosh, there it is. <laughs> So as we deep fry, you do want to turn it around little by little, okay? So that's um. Let's do maybe six first. Oh, okay, of Just course. So oh. ooh. <laughs> let's like. Those are pretty big egg, uh, spring roll, right? Yes. So actually, these spring rolls are vegetable spring rolls. Not everyone ooh. likes meat, <laughs> yep. so it's actually good and a good appetizer. So it's not too heavy. Right? I, I'm sure it, that's that's the reason I ordered this one because uh, um, spring roll is such a crossover item. It anybody is. know about that and right? anybody will eat it. Super easy, super easy to prepare. The only thing is it's just um, preparing the oil. But again, if you have a great sous chef like Cindy, who cares about the oil? See, right? I'm <laughs> helping you turn it down yes. a little bit. <laughs> So as we're frying this, you do want to flip it as we go because you don't only want one side to be fried. So as you can see, it's turning. I think we can take that out, Cindy. Yep. Oh. You mean and we don't serve this? Yes, right? <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see what I'm doing, you want to flip it around just once. Wow, is the colors start to turn already. Yes, the yeah. nice light golden, right? texture here and then you want to just keep an eye on it again you want to fry them even evenly some mm -hmm. people want to put the whole pot or 
have the oil fill up to the entire pot, but I think this was good enough. Right, and also, um, we did mention earlier, those spring roll are actually a bigger size, so yes. I'm, I'm glad that they're not those teeny tiny ones. Yes, the smaller bites are, you know, we have to fight over them. Yeah. <laughs> and this one's a good size. I think per person, two mm -hmm. would be good. Um, I eat four, so yes, four will be for me. <laughs> I don't know where you fit all that food. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. I'm going to make it a little bit higher, the temperature, right? Ooh. So our... I know, wish you could smell this. I know. This is really good. Yeah. Did you have any sauce for this, Cindy? Did you prepare of the sauce? Of course. Yes? Uh, I don't know about you, but uh, in my culture, usually we use uh, like a sweet chili oh. or, or hot sriracha sauce. How about for you? For Koreans, we do a lot of soy sauce, vinegar, and red chili pepper, but that sauce sounds really good. Well, we, we definitely can do that yes. today, too. It looks like they have a lot of ingredients inside, too. Yes, it looks like, you, actually, most of the times when we do uh, vegetable spring rolls, mm -hmm. it's cabbage, carrots, and I'm going to have to say, sometimes I put greens. Like Ooh. You can try, like, uh, chives. Mm -hmm. But this one, I think, is predominantly cabbage and carrots. Um, sometimes even morning glory greens. Whichever I'm green you like. Some people might even actually add tofu for those who don't have meat. But it's all up to you. But I, these are pre-made from Jack and Keith. Remember that. I'm <laughs> sure our guests will love it. Because oh, yes. today we have a lot of non-Asian guests <laughs> today. <laughs> and a lot of them are chef. Oh, yay! And I'm sure they, they had this before. But yes. You know, absolutely. nothing more fashier than just off the flyer absolutely, like this. Absolutely, absolutely. Plus, you're making it for them with the sauce ready. I can't see well, the sauce you're kind of making it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, wait for it to turn Yes, on. let's wait for this to complete. Okay. And now you can see it's almost ready, actually. And Do you, you think want so? it to be this, yes, and you want it to be this color. I think these are actually, yes, ready. You Whoa. don't have yes doesn't have to be too much because we don't have any um, actual meat in it. Veggies cook first. There you go. That's right. So those are the veggie ones. So we don't want to overcook. And what's amazing about this is everything that we receive from Jack and King, we can use exactly the same pot, right? Since it's at the perfect temperature and start cooking the rest. They really make our life easy. <laughs> they did. They did. Everything's already... Yeah, no, I got problems. And I don't know where to go. All right, Sharon. All right. So next one. I want to try this shrimp ball, the lychee shape. I never have this I before. Know. How about so you? I, I actually have not tried it. Not mm -hmm. in the lychee shape. But I think it's quite interesting. Look at the color. Look at the color of it. Can we open it? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Go ahead. Ooh, we gotta be careful. Yep. Oh my god, it does look like lychee. It look does at look this. Like lychee. Yes. So I think the outside will be crunchy for the texture and mm -hmm. just the shape of it is called lychee. It's not really lychee in it, but let's go ahead and deep fry these. Oh, let I me I think these are small. Go. Maybe we should do another six of these. How about six? Okay. All right. Am I doing all right? Yes, you are. <laughs> Ooh. Let me do it for uh. <laughs> Cindy's life is on the line here, everyone. Well, that's <laughs> why I have you here yeah. to, <laughs> to save me. To make sure everyone, you know. Ooh. Okay. All right. So this one does have shrimp in it, so you might want to cook it a little bit longer than the vegetable spring roll. And you can already see the outside, the texture. You can already see it's getting crunchy, which is meant to do that. That is so cool. Look at that. Something very similar to this would be like the coconut shrimp that we normally see. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm But, yeah. It says lychee. It looks just like a lychee from the outside. It does, right? Yes. Because when you see, when you actually have lychee from its raw form, mm -hmm. it's actually in one of these little you know, marbly kind of texture. When you open it, it's actually the white yeah. pieces that come out, the sweet part. Yes. Do you think our guests were mistaking this for lychee? I think so. What? Well, <laughs> but they'll not... have a pleasant surprise, right? When they bite into it. Yeah, yes. let's not tell them it's a shrimp ball. and Just <laughs> tell them it's surprise. lychee. Yeah. yeah.
Sharon, do you think this is ready? They're, yes, they do look ready. And look at that. They look like lychee balls. They do. Yes. Isn't it? And the texture outside will, you know, complement the crunchiness. Look at that. Oh, it's bouncy. Yes. I can feel it outside is so crispy that's and inside good. is kind of bouncy. Yes, so. and that's what you want. Yes. That means that it's a crispy outside and a tender inside. Yes, this is very true. And you can definitely, once again, dunk these in the sauce that you made. So mm -hmm. you can sour sauce or just have it alone. I think the shrimp usually have a natural sweetness to mm -hmm. it. So maybe we can, uh, if you like the heat, maybe we can do a little bit spicy. Yeah, maybe a chili sauce or again, maybe a soy sauce with some vinegar and chili powder. Awesome. To each their own. Yes. All right, now we get the appetizer ready. Yes. What's next? So you know what? The remaining two is actually going to be some dessert stuff. Here. I love dessert. That's why I, I ordered know. those. So we have the pumpkin cake that we spoke about earlier. And my favorite is the sesame glutinous rice Ooh, balls. Ooh, which yes. one should we start first? You know what? Since I already know how this tastes, how about we do pumpkin? That's awesome. Right. Let's do it. Yes. Do you need this? Yes, I do. And... Oh my God, look at, look at this, it so actually cute. Looks like pumpkin. And it's the orange car too. I know, let's wow. see how it tastes. I'm really curious as to Oh, I better stay away from you. Please do. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. Ooh, that looks so pretty. The my guests will pretty. love it. Look how small and dainty it is. Great bite size, right? Some people may be a little too full to have dessert, but I think it's a great, great size. And again, everyone, while you're doing this, make sure to read up on the directions. It's super easy. Um, once again, when you get the oil going to a certain degree, the rest is just easy peasy. <laughs> wow, so pretty. It's yes, like it, it looks like a floating flowering. I know. I, what, what kind of texture do you think this will be? Let's try to guess. Huh. I'm actually really, really, yes. I never had good. this before, so mm. I would think it's kind of salt, uh, savory and sweet kind of. All together? Yeah, mm. like a pie kind of thing. Yes. Oh, interesting. Well, the, I don't know, you can, you, you can see that the bottom and top have a two different color. They start changing now. Mm. Wow. It's going to look so pretty. Yes. Okay, so the first six that I put in here, once again, golden brown. Anything that you're frying, especially with these lighter colors, what you want to look for is the golden brown tint, right? A little darker is fine, crunchy, up to you. If you want it medium done, right, you can have it this color here where you can just see there's no actual brownness, but a nice tint of gold. Yep. So pretty, look at that. I know, super easy. Once again, you get the oil ready, everything's easy. It's just, you know, from there on, it's just separating and flipping, yes. I love how it's just so easy, just one pot. Yep. We can make appetizer and the dessert. Yes. The guests will never know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I hope they really think this is lychee. <laughs> <laughs> but then our, all our, uh, what is it, friends are chefs, so they might actually know. <laughs> well, the, yeah, that's not overestimated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. So for this one, I'm going to start letting out. So Cindy, mm -hmm. can you grab Oh, the yeah. Plate, there we go. All right. And look at you guys. The pumpkin shape is still there. I know. I hold it up. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just going to be very careful. So... Sorry, we can we can rearrange later. Okay. Yeah. Wow, look at that, it's so pretty. It is. All right. So while we're doing this, mm -hmm. okay. and we have last but the yes, least, your favorite. Not the least, but my favorite. All right. See you guys in a short minute here with our yeah, sesame the, balls. Yep. Ooh. All right. All right. So we have. Your sesame. favorite. I know, my favorite. So believe it or not, I did wash my hands. So I'm going to grab these and just dunk them in. Maybe we should call them Sharon Balls. I know, right? <laughs> I, I would like to name it after myself. So again, everyone, none of these actually have protein in it. So you don't have to be, it doesn't have to be too long. However, 
as you fry these, you want to flip it. So you don't want to leave it in here and leave. Unless the oil is up to half of this nice little pot here, then that's fine. But just for time's sake, this would be perfect. And look at this, they used the real sesame. They did, they really did use the real sesame. Because you can see some of the little sesame ran away. Yes. <laughs> so in here, usually they would have something sweet, like sweet red beans. Mm. And that's what makes it flavorful. And the chewiness, if everyone knows about mochi, it's a texture of mochi. Okay, Cindy's very popular right now because she's hosting this party, but I'm going to end it with a good note here. So if you take a look, Gorman, if we can just get closer to the sesame balls here. Look how it's golden brown. I personally like them golden brown. Some may say it's a little too, you know, a little too much, but I actually like it like this. So some of these to the left, as you can see, I'm going to leave that are light less in color. And the ones to the right is the way I like it. And why did I do that? Because I'm the one who's going to be eating them. All right, guys, we're going to display this soon. We'll show you the outcome later. See you in a little bit. All right. All right. I, Look what we did today. I think we're ready for the party. I think so. No. Thanks, Cindy, for helping me. Well, thank you for coming, helping me cook. Yes, of course, you guys. If, if I knew this was going to be this easy, I will invite you. I'm going to have Al hey, to myself. You do have to invite me next time still. Well, sure. I know how much you can eat. So. Yes, and this, I will be eating all this. Well, don't worry. If you can order from Jack and King on the website, $69, yes. and you can get everything delivered to your yes. house. And I will be ordering from Jack and King for these sesame balls and some desserts. All right. See you next time. See you next time. Fresh. Oh, sorry. Cindy's Cup. very uh, sorry. popular, so we're gonna. Switch. Hi, Irv. I'm just calling to check on you to make sure that you haven't. So as you can see, these change. No, no, no. We are on. I'm. Uh, we are actually all making it. Uh, the last uh, appetizer right now.